Hey everybody, hope everybody is well. I don't do too many videos like this, but um, I, I just wanted to address something. I'm gonna try to do it real quick. Um, so basically, um, I was asked about my faith and how, how like how do, do it seemingly happen to be that your faith is so strong, or at least it seems to be that way from what I what that person see. Let me tell you a quick story right quick. So basically, I remember being in, I'm not going to say a hard season, but it was, I say a trying season, I said like that, or a testing season, so they call it. And I remember going through like so many different things at one time. Like It was like, how they say, when one thing hits, it seems like five other things hit at a time. And it was like just like that like I, I mean i can't even really even explain how how much was happening at one time so i remember one day um i wasn't even praying i was just i i, I can't remember exactly what it was but like i was just like just quiet and i remember the lord speaking to me clear as day said that what i'm allowing you to go through is not to kill you it's only to um, make you stronger. So it was, he was explaining to me that the things that I was going through, it wasn't to kill me because honestly, all of the things I was going through at the time, I felt like it probably should have killed me, be honest with you, because it was a lot at one time. But he was showing me that the things that you were going through, what I was going through was he was going to get me through it so that I could relate to so many other people and that I could encourage them that they can get through it too. So it was just a test to show me that he was with me through everything that I was going through and everything that I was going to go through. So in essence, it was building my faith. That's what it really was doing. It was building my faith. So a lot of times in order to get the type of faith that may be admired, you got to go through a lot of tests, and I've been through a lot of tests. Some I failed over and over and over again, but like I can relate to so many different people and so so many situations because I've been through so many things, and God got me. It wasn't to kill me, it wasn't to harm me, but it was only to help me to relate to so many different people and so many other things. So when you hear me speak or when you hear me post, it's not just words, like it's not something I heard. It's really things I've been through and really the things that God has shared with me. And I wanna um, leave this quote because I heard this quote years ago and it stayed with me. It said, a faith that has never been tested cannot be trusted. So basically, if you've never been through nothing, you need to shut up, basically. You got to go through stuff in order to understand. Again, you'll never know God to be a healer if you've never been sick. You never know what God can do if you never have been in a situation. So I want to encourage you today, if you admire my faith, just know that I've been through a lot. Just know that I've overcame a lot. And because of that, I can relate to you. I can go through with you. I, there are so many different things I, I technically don't share because, again, what I do is not about me. It's not about, you know, oh, I I give $1,000 a month to this place or I, I give $1,500 to this other place or, you know, I give the shoes off my feet. To no, I don't do that. Matter of fact, the majority, matter of fact, pretty much everything that we do, um, me and my family, we don't even talk about it. We don't post it because the, all the glory go to God. So anything that I say, anything that I post, trust that it's first of all from God and it's true and that it's all out to help you. So again, that's my faith. And I hope that this has helped you because one thing about it, God can get you through anything. And especially in the world that we live in today, you need to know that God is real and God is true and that what you may see going on around you it don't even matter when you got god you can have a your where your faith actually says that it doesn't matter because you're built up in your faith in god and that's all 
That's all that matters. The Bible says plain and clear. Have faith in God. So I hope that you're having a great day. Um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. I just want to share that with you right quick. And I'll see you. Bye.